Alright, so in the last video we introduced the standard form and the vertex form of a quadratic. And in this case, in this video, rather, we're going to learn how to use the vertex form to find the equation of a parabola given the vertex and one other point through which the quadratic passes. So, for example, if we take a look at problem 14 of section 2.1, which is on page 161, we're told that the vertex of the parabola is located at the point 2 comma 0 and that the parabola passes through the point 1 3 Now what's special about the vertex form is that H and K represent the X and Y coordinates of the vertex respectively. So when you're told what the vertex is, they're telling you that the H coordinate is, or sorry, H, the X coordinate is 2, and K, which is the Y coordinate of the vertex, is 0. That's what that first statement tells us. So what we have so far is we have a quadratic and we know this much. We know that H is 2 and that K is 0. So if we simplify this because adding 0 in effect does nothing we get that our, our quadratic is some number which we're calling a right now times x minus 2 squared. Well, to find out what this number is, we use the second piece of information. We use the point 1, 3 to find a. So we plug 1 in for x, and we know that when x equals 1, that y, the output of f, is equal to 3. So when x is 1, our output is 3. Well, if we plug 1 in for x in this formula above, we get a times 1 minus 2 times, 1 minus 2, square that, and that product should be equal to 3. So when we do 1 minus 2, we get negative 1. Then we, we're going to square that, and squaring minus 1 just gives us 1, or plus 1. And a times 1 is just a. So we figured out that a is 3. We've also figured out from before that h is 2 and k is 0. So we now know all the pieces we need to know to name this particular quadratic. This quadratic is 3 times x minus 2 squared. Now, we also introduced the standard form of a quadratic, and we'll get into going from vertex form to standard form in the next video, but for now, the easy way is to go from standard form to vertex, or sorry, from vertex form into standard form. And the way you do that is you just simply square 
this term here. So squaring x minus 2 amounts to taking x minus 2 times itself. So if we FOIL these two factors or distribute these two factors, we get x squared minus 2x uh, plus a minus 2x or minus 2x plus minus 2 times minus 2 which is plus 4. So we have 3 times the quantity x minus minus 2x minus 2x is a minus 4x plus 4 remains unchanged and then you can distribute the 3 to get to standard form. Now, this right here is perfectly sufficient and is in fact the preferred answer for something like problem 14 because that's where I'm going to stop and so that's what I'm basing your answer on. I just kind of drug this extra piece of information into this problem to give you an example of how you go from vertex form like this into standard form which looks like this some number times x squared plus some number times x or in this case uh, plus a minus 12 times x plus a constant term